you feel content and happy, I think whatever the reasons are for that, that's success. Some people are, are successful in, in that, that they do their art and they don't make a dime. I left my family, my friends, my cousins, my aunts, my uncles, everything. They're all in Detroit. But uh, it was, some people say it was very courageous. I, I don't think so. I think it was just a matter of uh, understanding that I have to follow my heart in my life. The Detroit thing, I don't know, probably some of the people I went to school with are probably not even alive today. I don't know. There's a lot of violence today. Uh, there was violence then. Uh, I remember thinking, you know, uh, people would say, what should we do tonight? Let's, let's go down to the Dairy Queen and beat somebody up. I mean, I didn't fit there. I, I just, it just didn't make sense to me. It seemed like a dead end. People think it's very difficult to get out of the inner city. Uh, I proved it isn't. Uh, it, it's a matter of a mindset. It's a matter of understanding who you are and following your dream, your, your passion. No, no doubt about it. Nobody knew who I was. I didn't even know who I was. But I blindly pushed ahead and just said, I don't know any better. So this is what I'm going to do, and that's how I did it. Maybe somebody else uh, met somebody and took them under their wing and did this, that, or the other thing and taught them everything they know. That did not happen with me. I was in uh, Hollywood just trying to find my way, which is not an easy place to find your way. I mean, I struggled uh, shooting for magazines and uh, advertising and fashion. I tried everything. I had. I tried, I had a spread in Playboy once, I, I did uh, nudie magazines, uh, anything to get me, keep me being able to do photographs. I did photographs of food, uh, anything, I would take any job. I didn't really care if I made a lot of money or not. It wasn't about the money, at least initially it wasn't, and uh, of course, that's when it comes. But. I think back, and at the time people told me, don't go into photography because there's too much competition. And I just thumbed my nose at it and said, you know, I don't care, I'm going to do it anyways. Why not you? That's what I keep coming back to. Why not me? Why not you? Why not? It took me a while to understand that, though. I always thought, mm, I'm not a real professional photographer. <laughs> when do you become a professional photographer? Is it just in your mind? Probably. But the point of the matter is you, you have to believe in yourself and you have to let yourself believe the dream that you can do it. First you have to believe that you can, then you do it. If you can't believe you can do it, well you've lost already. It doesn't happen in a day. It took me 15 years to go from absolutely zero. And I had zero when I was 34 years old. I met my wife. We had $200 in the bank the day we got married. She said I wa she wanted to marry a guy that had nothing. Well, she came to the right place. I had nothing. And uh, we worked together. We had a common dream and we built our photo business. And uh, along the way, we found ways to amplify our photo business so that we could become uh, stars in our field and we created the glamour shots of the 1980s. The only thing is I can say that I never wavered in my dream. I had a passion, I understood it early and uh, I followed it and I just persevered. I just, I would not allow poverty or disappointment to make my dreams evaporate. I could have bailed out on photography at any time and said, uh, well, I better get a job at a, uh, you know, uh, doing marketing or selling insurance or whatever. But I, if I was selling insurance, I would be miserable. I absolutely would be miserable. I knew that. Somehow I knew. And I think that's part of the reason why uh, uh, we need to talk about these things so that people can understand and feel true to themselves. And when you feel totally true to yourself, I think if you have the perseverance, it's just a matter of time.